Well, here I am with another review. I This is just too good to pass up. It's on sale right now, half price, so $10, and it's worth it. It'd be worth it at $20. This is the EA7 from Gut Friends. Gut Friends is a combination of developers, Jonks, Gut Gravel, who's... Well, you know I've talked about them because I got a, quite a few at Airplane. 270 Inc. and My Crowd, and I believe I have some of his work as well. So, you can see the doors open, the windows open. These air vents are actually adjustable. I'm not sure why. I mean, it's kind of neat, but I don't feel any of the air. <laughs> you have this button here, which turns on skis. You can see I can turn them on. Now, the skis and the wheels stay together. But you don't get brakes if you're landing on snow, so you got to take that into account. So you can turn them on and off here with this button. This other feature, I would actually have paid the full price just for this feature right here. You can choose a companion, dog, cat, dog or cat, or dog and cat. And I mean, like I said, it, they're moving, they're animated, which is awesome. The breathing you could see it the tongue tongue wagging the tail I mean the tail wagging the tongue moving and quite frankly I would have paid the ten dollars just for that just to have a dog as a companion while I'm flying and it's not a static dog that doesn't look like it's alive so you guys see some great shots of it but again I would have paid the full price just for that so the doors open on both sides in addition to the windows opening and the blurriness that you're seeing is actually in the recording. Oh, look at that sweet engine back there. It's actually in the recording. It does not show up in my Oculus Quest. It's the recording just cannot keep up with the work of re-rendering all this. Full light panel here. You have taxi lights. You have parking lights. You have landing lights. You have the strobes. So you have all your full sets of switches, you have your generator switch here, your battery switch, great gauges, I got to adjust my barometric pressure, and speaking of that, you can adjust this, uh, use this button up here to change your avionics, so let me, let me close my door here real quick, while this is rebooting, but you can change the avionics from the radio stack to the, oh yeah, I got to update this, so, and there's a great add-in by the way, if you, it's, it's in several good planes from the community but yeah you can use this button up here like I said to switch back and forth and I tell you again if, if I don't know if you noticed it but you can see the keys keys with in on the key ring I love that <laughs> so we're gonna put this on because we're in New Zealand with lots of mountains and I like to have some of the terrain around the checklists are available as well from the in-flight menu and we are in v virtual reality, if you haven't noticed. We're in virtual reality right now. And if you read about the plane, they mentioned that it was really built from the ground up. And that was one of the things they took into account was virtual reality. Go full motion. The... The jittering of the rudder pedals. Oh, let's put the emergency brake down here. Yeah, and uh, adjust the trim, and we'll take off. And that that jittering in my rudder pedals is because I forgot to change one of the key mappings, or not key mapping, but one of the mappings on my joystick. Uh, nice first aid kit. Looks very realistic. Nice seat belts. Although I notice that there's like no center belt. I don't see unless it's under the seat and. The two ends that are on here, there's no way to connect those. So I don't see a way to use these seat belts, but they look nice. So, but yeah, it, this thing handles really well. It's a combination of a helicopter, really, and a very slow flying. And we got all the speeds here. Uh, they're in the manual as well. But the rotation speed is 55. So we'll be looking for that when we rotate. Uh, never speed is uh, or normal operation I think it's 145 but it, it's nice to have it right there and it is very readable I'm just narrating now after recording so I can't really read it that well on the, on my screen as I'm doing this but it's just really readable there as well as everything else in the cockpit so we're going to go ahead and take off and we'll give you an outside view as well here
lifts off really nice. Even here up at the altitudes and the location I'm in, it flies really nice. It mixes really well. So you can control your fuel flow and your power pretty good here. Uh, such a beautiful place to fly around, isn't it? The mountains of New Zealand. So there was a freeware version on flightsim.to and that's no longer going to be updated or supported because the developer of that, Jonks Simulations, is now part of the Gut Friends that's developing this. So it was released as freeware and had like 48,000 downloads. But now this is fully remodeled. This was built from the ground up. Look at that dog. I tell you. I would have paid $10 just for that right there. I, I'm not kidding. I, to have a dog in the cockpit is better than having the girlfriend in the cockpit. <laughs> so now, if we could pick the breeds, that would be awesome. I would love to have my miniature schnauzer with me. But anyway, see, this was built from the ground up, fully remodeled, retextured, recoded, really built for the modern simulation. They started development in 2021. They spent hundreds of hours on the development. It's been really finely tuned. And it's been submitted to a Sobo for the in-game marketplace on both PC and the Xbox. So the history of the EA-7 Optica, it combines the visibility of a helicopter, as you can see, with outstanding slow flying capabilities. Let's see the see the breaker panels here. Uh, I love it. All the breakers, <laughs> everything. Really, really, some nice detail here. Just things you wouldn't even think of, and, and yet they're there. And I've been finding them a little bit here and there as I'm going around. But yeah, all the breakers. But look at the view out the windows here. Now, I have to say that I get good frame rates in this area. I'm averaging around 39 to 41 frames per second here. But if you do have an issue with frame rates, this might not be the plane for you only because it's all window. It's a big floating bubble, which means that you are generating a whole lot more scenery than when you're just flying in a small airplane with little windows. You're, you're really generating a ton of, of scenery. So if you have any issues with loading scenery or frame rates, again, it may not be the plane for you just because of the fact that, look at, look at how much scenery has to be generated to fill the windows around me so it's a it's a three-seat touring aircraft it was i think the first flight was in 1979 if i remember correctly but the, the beginning the building of it actually was quite a bit earlier than that it's got a five-bladed fixed pitch ducted fan and it's thought to be the world's quietest powered aircraft and i think listening here I might tend to agree with them. It is very, very quiet. Now, for me, one of the things that's weird is the wings are behind me, and I'm really used to looking out my window and using those for reference, so I have to find something on my cockpit glass or something that I can use. But speaking of that, it's, I absolutely love the fact that there's dog nose prints on the windows. If you look down at the bottom, right where a dog's nose would be, <laughs> they're, they're there. So it's an awesome plane. Like I said, it's on sale right now at flightsim.to. Half price means it's $10. The dog in the cockpit, to me, is worth $10 by itself. But it's going to go back up to full price $20 at some point. And I, I mean, even even if you have to wait till then, I, it's still going to be worth it. It's a fantastic little plane. It's, the max permitted speed is 115 knots, and I know I've gone over that a couple of times. It's got a ceiling of 14,000 and a range of 656 miles. Uh, for climbs, it's got a max speed of 140 as the max permitted speed. The stall speed is 58 knots, cruise is 70. So it is slow. It's not a speed demon. It's a sightseeing bug. And it really is really nice. I, I like it. 
I like the uh, accelerometer and clock up here on the top next to the skis and the buttons. Oh, and the dog's name is uh, Kilo and the cat is Matto or vice versa. Um, I can't remember, but it's, it's in the manual which one is which, but they actually gave them names. But yeah, and then all those circuit breakers that I show you, which could actually be popped, so you have to check them. But yeah, it's a very pretty plane. Really, really nice detail. This is a standard little um, livery here, but there's some in the community, and it's like I said, nice. Look at this detail. And so, me and the pooch, thank you for watching and flying around New Zealand with us. And yeah, we, we think you should check it out. It's the EA7 Edgeley Optica. And the development group is Gut Friends, Jonks, Gut Gravel, 270 Inc., and Microde. All fantastic developers, and they've combined together to bring us this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the skies.